What are presentism and historicism? Each of these concepts is a perspective or a way of thinking about history. Presentism is interpreting the past in terms of the present. It means we view the past through a modern lens, using our current perspective and knowledge about the world. We'll take a look at an example in just a minute. Historicism is a different approach. It considers the context within which historical events occur. This context is called the zeitgeist, the climate or spirit of the times. You'll see this word many times in these lectures. It comes from the German words Zeit, which means time, and Geist, which means spirit or ghost. Historicism requires perspective taking, a conscious effort to place oneself in the situation or time period of interest. In the history of psychology, for example, contextual factors like economic opportunities, wars, and discrimination played a big role in its development. Both world wars influenced the growth of personnel selection, psychological testing, and engineering psychology. Meaning United States government shaped the actions of applied psychologists at the time. Now let's look at another example and interpret it from both perspectives. In 1861, Paul Broca, who identified Broca's area in the brain, wrote that men were intellectually superior to women because women's brains were smaller. A historian who approaches this information from a presentist approach might label Broca a sexist or a fraud, because they use modern standards to judge others. On the other hand, a historian who approaches this example from a historicist approach would refrain from using these terms to describe his actions. Instead, they would present all of the information, including an explanation that his views were consistent with the stereotypical beliefs of the time. In the late 1800s, scientists had discovered that men's and women's brains were significantly different in terms of size and weight. Combined with the lack of women in higher education, they concluded, incorrectly, men must be smarter than women. Of course, they failed to recognize that women had been banned from universities up until the mid-1800s. Taking on a historicist approach means presenting all of this information. It does not mean condoning or supporting the people, events, and ideas they study. To summarize, presentism reflects your current opinion, while historicism recognizes the majority opinion of the people and time period of interest. It's a matter of understanding the similarities and differences between how do we think today and how did most people think at that time.